Welcome to These Bad Feet, Season 3. We're on a new map. Well, actually, no, I'm just going to keep it at Season 2, because I only did one episode of Season 2. We've reset the map because Red Power 2 doesn't seem to be updated anymore. And one way or another, that seems a little bit you know, unreliable, so we're not going to continue with Red Power. We've, we've switched to FTB Ultimate, the standard mod pack, but removed Red Power. And uh, we are going to continue without it, because we reckon that we can probably get by without <coughs> Red Power per se. And if I'm coughing a little bit in the background, well, I'm sorry about that. It's been about a year or so uh, since I had a cold and uh, or some sort of respiratory infection. You may remember my very first Crater City episode was uh, very fragmented because I had to keep cutting around where I was coughing. Well, we're back uh, back to that. <clears throat> maybe that's a good sign, maybe not. But um, let's... I seem to have picked up these torches. These aren't my torches. But what I'm trying to do today, anyway, is find a site to set up a base. And um, although, you know, it's a problem with slimes, I'm heading towards the idea of setting up in this swamp, because easy access to rubber trees and creepers. And, uh, of course, uh, on uh, my first These Bad Feet, that was in a swamp. And we've already got some food, actually, without even thinking about it. And a skeleton, look at that. He's come to welcome me to my new house. There, catch fire, why don't you? So, yeah, the one thing that you didn't see on the last map was, of course, me finding a site or setting anything up. Because it was all pretty much a fait accompli by the time you saw it. So, here you can actually see me trying to find a place to set things up. And uh, a swamp <clears throat> next to a ravine with a mine shaft going through. I think I think we might have a uh, a base site here. Actually, how far are we from spawn? Because that looks flat. It's two hundred and fifty meters from spawn. So at least over there, I wouldn't have to worry about slimes. It's uh, is that an autumn forest? I think I think that's going to be a. I think that's going to be a good place, and you know rubber trees in sight. So I think I think we're going to do that. Okay, this is where I'm going to have my base. I think. I'm not quite sure what this stuff is. It's some sort of cracked dust or something, and uh, but uh, it's close to a swamp, so there's rubber trees there, fairly close to water there, so you can go fishing. There's uh, a mountain or cliffside over there and there's spawn just over there so I think this is a fairly good site and it's flat I won't have to do any digging in like I did last time well unless I want to dig down so yeah this is what I'm going to go with and we will ceremonially punch the first tree glad this isn't the April Fool version that would have been a neat trick actually Growth should have done that because you know we wouldn't find that well we probably would have found out because we all got struck by lightning so we're still running 1.4.7 because a lot of the mods, um, well, some of them I'm told haven't updated to 1.5 yet, so we're <clears throat> kind of waiting on that. And if Red Power 2 does update to 1.5, uh, we might add it back, but we'll see. Right, so we'll ceremonially make the first crafting table. There it goes. <coughs> You may cheer, and uh, with that I shall make a chest. Oh, I'm really missing that dragging facility that we had with the old uh, add-on. That's something I'm looking forward to with 1.5, getting that back. Uh, so we need to have a bit of a look around. Uh, these purple autumn saplings, I might just uh, replant those, because it's, uh, you know, conservation and all that. I think the autumn forest, it makes me keep thinking that it's uh, that it's getting to be night time. So, got an axe there, and a spade. There you go. FTB, one. I've got tools. Okay, sun's going down, so I guess I'd better quickly find somewhere to go. In fact, I'll probably just log out of the server and wait till <laughs> sun comes up. 
Unless the advantage of multiplayer. Um, but I've got to think about getting a bed. So it might be an idea to look out for some sheep. Chickens, but no, no. Some insane reason you can't make a bed out of chickens. Okay, here I am in a darkened area. I found a cave by chance, just dug into the wall and uh, opened into this cave. And I've just landed on this coal seam, which is amazing, because half the time when I'm starting on a new map, it takes me forever to find coal. So I've got some torches, and uh, what we can do is have a little bit of a minor explore and at least make this place relatively safe. And maybe get some early resources while I'm just uh, waiting to seal that up so nothing will follow me down there. And we'll see what we can find. I mean, I'll cut around this because you don't want to see endless caving. You've seen it before. And if you haven't, then you haven't watched enough Minecraft videos on YouTube. First battle. Here he comes. Mr. Zombie. There you go, Monster Hunter. Achievement get. So I should be able to upgrade now to Stone Tools. This is a momentous occasion. Still wish I could drag out those things. Why, why does nobody put this into the, the mod? You can see out there, Mr. Enderman. There he is. Let's try not to look at him. I've got no way of defending myself against him yet. Another momentous event. Just found iron. You may have spotted it, actually, in a previous shot, but anyway, I think that's only one block of iron as well. But, you know, I have stacks before you know it. We can make an iron shovel with that. It's unusual, though. I'm finding so much coal here at you know, this time. I remember one map I, I played in single player. I actually dug a whole sort of open cast pit down to bedrock without finding a single bit of coal. And, uh... That was a painful start, but, uh, you know, found some eventually. There's always that point where you suddenly realise you've got more coal than you know what to do with. And uh, you never you never see it coming. There's never a moment where you go, Ah, oh, well, with that block of coal, my coal worries are at an end. You know, it's just one day you suddenly look in a barrel and realise that you've got, you know, 400,000 stacks of coal. Well, <laughs> not stacks, but, you know, 400,000 coal. I think that's how many I had back on the first Arduard map, but uh, when we reset it, but uh, there was uh, uranium there, but won't need that for a bit. Got two of these next to each other, that's pointless. Ah, oh, sun's coming up. No, oh, that was dangerous. I could have looked at that Enderman there, but I didn't. Rock bees noted. Let's just have a look in this little cave here. I think it might be a good opportunity to... Uh, oh, more more iron. I'll certainly have that. Keeping an eye on the mini-map now, because there's quite a lot of mobs around, and they could easily acquire me as a target while I'm doing this. Of course, in the old day, you know, you'd be out merrily mining away, and a creeper would drop down behind you. And if you had good armour, you know, an explosion would go off, and you'd look around and you'd go, oh, what was that? Now, kids, never do that in Minecraft. Never mind the block under you. But, you know, I'm making a video, and so you tend to push your luck a bit when you're making a video. Remember, people making videos in Minecraft are indestructible. He says, looking very cautiously at all those nearby mobs. Oh, there must be some quartz? No. Do I pick that up or not? Doesn't matter. Not particularly useful. Hello, Skelly. I'll leave you to your swim. Oh, I'll have that. Oh, and a brain. Oh, that's not too bad. Angry zombie. I think I might have that chicken too. Although he's got his own view on this matter. Where's he gone? Alright. Let that one go, he has spirit. I thought that was some Zycorium for a minute. Ah! That one was stupid. I'll eat that one. And his egg. Smart observers at this point will notice that I have both red and uh, brown mushrooms, so we can start uh, maybe even thinking about having a mushroom farm. <clears throat> That's of course how I got started with food on the last uh, map, and it is quite effective. Um, fairly labour intensive if you do it manually, I suppose, but then again, it's no worse than taking down trees. 
talking of which, this would be a good opportunity to think about, first of all, getting some wood, but also getting some rubber. Now, that's a convenient island, isn't it? Look, it's got rubber trees on it, and I can see some resources on the side. And, you know, that's worth a dangerous jump or two, isn't it? So, what have we got there? I don't recognise what that is at the bottom. Is that is that a redesigned Zarkorium? What is that? Quartz dust. That's new. I have to look that up. I suppose all of you FDB experts who are all saying, Oh, it's been in the name for ages, duh. But, you know... It's new to me. Here goes the rubber tree. At some point I will build an extractor and I will be able to take out all of this this stuff. As we call it. The the rubber. The, the I, I, I think the technical term for rubber is stuff. Uh, proper engineers refer to it as stuff. You know, insulating a wire, you, you basically cover it in stuff. You know, that's basically the size of it. Have more rubber trees here. I'll take these down. I've resolved to have a more organised rubber farm this time because it did start to get a little bit annoying that you know I planted them any haphazard way in that tiny space. Everybody always says whenever I'm making a building, I always make it too small, and um, it's true. Um, I always underestimate the amount of size I'm going to need, the amount of space I'm going to need, and even with my old storage, you know, by the end it was a whoa, there's a sinkhole. Some good stuff down there, but I think that's not too pressing. I, I'm gonna not gonna go down there yet. Hey, rubber sapling, rubber dung. It's pig killing time. I did uh, get three rubber saplings from those trees. That should be enough to get started. I mean, it's not an enormous amount, but we will see. <clears throat> I can always come back. I know there's more rubber trees around. There's some on this island, actually, quite a few. So. Uh, wouldn't be hard to get more. What's down here? Oh, it's one of these ones that just connects surface to surface, isn't it? Mm. Yep. It is the Minecraft Metro system. Connects two places together that you never want to go to anyway. That'd be an interesting constraint for building a transit system, actually, that you could only build um, railway lines through pre-existing caves so you'd only basically connect locations that were connected by terrain generated caves it would also be an extremely boring thing to do so I don't think, I, I wouldn't advise it I don't know what toadstools do we'll ignore them for now um, there's an interesting light down there but I'm not going to go down there yet but largely because my inventory is full and I'm dying so let's just uh, go to my Base, in quotes. Oh, brilliant. We can't TP on this server. I'll have to talk to uh, to Grouth about that. Fortunately, I'm only 50 metres away from my base. <coughs> talk about not paying attention. Oh, dear. That's lazy, isn't it? It's like uh, getting in your car to go next door. Not that there aren't people who do that. But anyway, let's, let's make a start. Um... We have some spruce. Um, did I want to do that? Probably I'll regret it. Who cares? Before I do anything else, I think I should basically make a box. Let's let's be sensible here and make a box so I've actually got somewhere to hide if I need to. Because <laughs> um, right now I don't have any security at all. So let's let's be sensible. And that's that's all I've got in terms of stone, isn't it? Uh, I made a chest, so I can put some stuff in my chest. Uh, we won't plant the rubber saplings yet. I have got some food. How about that? That was stupid of me, wasn't it? Not to notice that I had food. And uh, oh, I've got a nice amount of coal to be starting with. Ready out of the stone tools already. And I didn't leave myself any stone to make any more, did I? Or a furnace. Well done. Well done. Well. <laughs> okay. 
I think it might be a good opportunity to log off the server and wait for it to become daytime again. So I'm going to do that and uh, see you in a bit. <laughs>